am I the asshole for telling my sister it's gold digging money she's borrowing from me? Not in the US. I, 33 female, have a sister, Sarah, 36 female. Sarah has always been good at studying and is our parents' pride and joy. She got into a very good university's engineering program on full scholarship and had a nice job offer upon graduation. We were all really proud of her. In comparison, I was a mediocre student. I got into a less prestigious university studying something Sarah said to our parents, quote, won't get me a good job. But my parents helped me pay my tuition nevertheless, though I had to work for spending money and other expenses. Through work, I met my now husband. He is from a family of generational wealth with their own business. We married when I graduated and my sister said she was very disappointed in me for being a gold digger and that we women should not rely on a man's money to get ahead in life. Sarah left her company at 30 to start her own business with her now husband. The business was doing well until the pandemic. They struggled but managed to keep their business together until this year. There it is. Sarah confessed to our parents that she needs a large amount of money to keep her business afloat. My parents suggested she borrow from me. Now, I do have the amount of money Sarah needs. My husband heads his family company and gives me spending money every month in addition to a credit card he takes care of. I don't work. My days are spent looking after our two sons and for a few days a week, keeping his mom company. She's a lovely lady who's still very active and enjoys taking me places. Every time we go out, she foots the bill. So I do have a lot of money saved. Sarah and her husband approached me in private a few days ago. They asked to borrow money from me with a detailed plan on how to pay me back though with much lower interest than from a bank and a contract. Here's why I may be the asshole. I wrote them a check and as I handed it to her, I looked her in the eyes and said, quote, you do realize you're borrowing my gold digging money, right? I like it. Sarah went red in the face before she immediately got up and walked away. Her husband looked a little awkward, but finally took the check and mumbled his thanks and left. Later, my mom called me and said I was being cruel to Sarah in her hard time, that there was no need to humiliate my sister like that. No, it was necessary. I simply told my mom she never said anything when Sarah called me a gold digger, so she has no say in the matter now. I still wonder if I'm the asshole. Okay, whatever. It wasn't the nicest thing to do, but karma. I like it. I like it. I mean, you're pointing out she owes you an apology Mm -hmm. and you're helping her out without getting an apology. So you get to play around with her a little bit. My opinion. You could have said no and said, I didn't think you'd want my gold digging money. Yeah. And then not even help her. Yeah. You're helping her. Yeah. Was it a snide comment as you handed the check? Yeah. Yes. But you are doing them a massive, Mm -hmm. massive favor. Right. And what she said to you is really inappropriate. I, I'm, really surprised that the sister didn't preemptively say I want to apologize for what I said. Exactly. That's my point is that sure it wasn't the sweetest comment but I'm here for something like that because she's pointing out you were really mean to me with the decision that I made and now you're coming and asking me for help without acknowledging that you were really mean to me. Mm Mm-hmm. How do I tell my fiance that I'm not attracted to him? Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I was sending me on Instagram. My fiance and I met in school over 10 years ago. We started running in the same friend circle. And after that, we became best friends. Now, I will say I always knew that he had a thing for me. But he was always so soft and gentle. He was always my best friend that I could tell everything to. And when it came to guys, he always gave me the best advice. I knew he had my back always. After high school, he went away for college and I stayed home. And I started dating a ton of guys. Of course, I kept him updated on everybody I was dating. During the summer, he came to visit us and that's when I realized he had a huge glow up. But he was still the same guy. He asked me if we could go to dinner, the movies. Essentially, they were like mini dates. And the more I hung out with him, the more I thought, okay, maybe I am attracted to him. At least I wanted to believe it. I mean, he'd be the perfect man for me. We know each other so well. He makes me laugh. He cares about me. My family already loves him. So I decided to give him a chance. This might sound bad, but his glow up was kind of like a trick. It tricked me into believing that I was attracted to him. So then I tricked myself into believing that I could be with him. When he asked me to be his girlfriend, I said yes. But anytime he tried to kiss me, I would always feel weird. He finally had to go back to college and this is when I had to muster up the courage to finally kiss him. And so I did. It was not a good kiss. In fact, I didn't feel anything. But I continued to trick myself into believing that I'll feel something for him eventually. He was so in love with me. All he did was talk about me, always texting me, calling me. He was the perfect boyfriend. A year later, he actually proposed. And at this point, I had convinced myself long enough that I liked him. So I said yes. But as we started planning, I realized I am not attracted to him at all. Part two is up.
How do I confess to my fiance that I'm not attracted to him? This claim is not my story time is sending me an Instagram. He planned out the most amazing proposal. He took me down to a lake where we used to hang out with all our friends. As we started getting closer to the lake, there was a pathway of candles. And as soon as I saw those candles, I knew that he was going to propose. And the worst part is the whole time he was proposing, I just kept looking at his face trying to figure out if I'm attracted to him or not. Or if what I feel is just love of a friend that I've loved for years. I was so confused and I didn't know how to say, I don't know. So instead I said yes. Both of our families were right there. They are hiding. They came out and congratulated us. My parents actually could not be happier. They love my fiance. How could they not? He's been my best friend for 10 years. I felt like I was in a racing car and I couldn't pump the brakes. Everything was happening so quickly and I couldn't say, hold on. Like, let me think about this. I was so confused and torn up and I didn't want to hurt his feelings. I also didn't want to hurt my own feelings. I opened up to my mom and told her exactly how I felt. And she says, I'm not surprised. When I asked her why, she told me that she knew he was never my type of guy, but she knew that he could grow to be one. And that the love he and I feel for each other is just as important as the love a husband and wife might feel. But I explained to her that even though, yes, I truly deeply love him i'm just not attracted to him and she confessed that when her and my dad got engaged she wasn't even in love with him let alone attracted to him but she says that all of that came with time and that all we see in movies is people falling head over heels having the best sex and the best relationships and that i needed to realize it was only in movies after talking to my mom i felt worse about the entire situation i was no longer confused i knew i definitely was not attracted to him and part of me knew that i would never come to be attracted to him we'd already been together a year at this point and i still felt nothing when he kissed me i felt like a liar felt guilty then something happened a friend group set up a whole party and they wanted us to come but there were a couple of people that we had never met and like a scene straight out of a movie i see this guy from across the room and he looks at me instant attraction i can't even describe it it's like i just couldn't stop looking at him and he couldn't stop looking at me either every time i looked in his direction he was always looking at me then one of our friends introduced us as in me and my fiance to this guy he was new to the friend group and he had just moved into town this is what i'm talking about i want to feel those feelings for whoever i end up marrying instead of guilt and pity i told my parents i was going to break off the engagement but they want me to reconsider and no i haven't had any contact with that guy obviously the feeling he gave me isn't that what I should be feeling for my fiance? I'm speaking to him tonight, so I will be posting a third part to the story time tomorrow. Wish me luck and give me some tips on what I should say to him. Don't want to hurt him, but I know he's going to get hurt anyway. And I don't want to lie to him. I just want to tell him the truth. I'm not attracted to you. But how do I say that without making him feel like he's ugly or something? Help me out. Lock your sister out. I confess to my fiance that I'm not attracted to him. You'll never guess what he did. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. You guys tore me to shreds in the comments of the last video, so I did exactly what you guys said. I went to his apartment and confessed the whole thing. I told him that I loved him, but like a best friend. And that really, at no point did I ever really feel attraction for him. You'll never guess what he said. He said that he already knew, but that he didn't care because he knows that I would come to love him too. I felt even worse after he said this. He begged me to stay, but ultimately I said no and broke up with him. Luckily, we hadn't spent any money on the wedding planning, but our families were really upset. His mom called me really angry and told me off, which of course didn't surprise me, but it stung like hell. I'm currently public enemy number one, and everyone in our friend group hates me. Like, actually, none of my friends want to talk to me right now. I feel miserable, but it took guts to do what I did. A lot of people stay in relationships like this because they're comfortable. So be as mean as you want in the comments. I don't care. I'm going to Mexico for four days. My plan is to run around in a bikini all day. I'm currently miserable, so you'd be happy to know. Am I wrong for pretending not to recognize my husband at a restaurant? I, 30 female, just want to say that my husband, River, 26 male, is a wonderful, funny, kind person. He's also incredibly handsome. I am not. I've noticed that he's embarrassed and ashamed when he introduces me as his wife to his co-workers. This has happened a few times. He shuffles awkwardly, he doesn't look anyone in the eye, and he makes a strange smile and immediately tries to veer the conversation away to something else, only when he says I'm his wife. The events were miserable for him. I stopped going to his events and now they are a success. It used to hurt, but I just realized that's just how the industry is. And people do judge him and talk behind his back because what I look like. People do that in general because he's more attractive than me. He told me that he's trying very hard to succeed at his new job and his new boss was an insanely judgmental person. She destroyed the career of an employee who reported the team for exclusionary behavior and fired someone who wore the same jacket as her once for example. My coworker and I went to a fast casual restaurant for lunch yesterday. It wasn't as crowded as the other places during the lunchtime rush. My husband, his boss, and his coworker were already there unbeknownst to me. However, it turns out that River's boss and my coworker went to the same business school. They caught up and introduced us all to each other. Instead of saying that he's my husband, I shook his hand and said, nice to meet you. 
I sat next to my coworker and across from his coworker. I didn't say he was my husband, but neither did he. I felt like he was looking at me, but when I looked, he was looking away. When I got home later that night, he was crying. He said he didn't know what he did for me to ignore him and if our marriage meant so little, why didn't I just take off my rings? I told him I said I didn't want to make him ashamed of me. He got very quiet. My mom said I was acting ridiculous, but my dad agreed with my reasoning. So, am I the asshole? Um, I just want to say, I feel like it's 100% illegal to fire someone for wearing the same jacket as you. My daughter just turned 14 years and she's developing very fast. In my family, almost all the women are physically endowed. We develop in certain places faster than other people. Even though my daughter is just 14 years, she looks like someone who is almost 18 years old. I was the same way when I was her age. She feels very uncomfortable when people mistaking her for a grown-up woman. And she has told me several times she doesn't like the way some men look at her. She is still a child and she doesn't understand why she gets so much attention. When she goes out of the house, she's always dressed up in big t-shirts and shorts or bowler trousers at first i thought she was dressing this way because she was uncomfortable with her body i spoke to her and she told me that is the kind of style she likes now even though she dressed this way outside when she's inside the house she just wears a crop top or singlet with shorts this is how she has dressed in the house for as long as i can remember i've been with my husband for 17 years and we have three kids together two older sons and then our daughter my daughter and my husband has always been close and most of the time i feel she even loves her father more than she loves me. I know he really loves her, but recently, I realized he was getting distance from her. He stopped hugging her and spending time with her. My daughter noticed this too, and asked me what was going on with him. I've asked my husband several times why he was acting the way he was acting, and he was not telling me anything. One day, my daughter broke out in tears when she tried to hug her father, who had been away for one whole month, and he pushed her away. She told me later that she feels her father doesn't love her anymore. That night, I really got angry, and asked him to tell me what was going on. Why the sudden change in his behavior and that was when he told me he was no longer comfortable around our daughter and i was like why he said he doesn't like the way she dresses in the house and that she's making him feel uncomfortable she says she wants our daughter to cover up more his request was upset to me it was not as if she was working in the house with brazier and pants and why would your own daughter make you feel uncomfortable this way she's just 14 years old and she's already uncomfortable with the way other men look at her outside now her own father wants her to cover up indoors my father was not really around when i was growing up so so the whole situation is very strange to me. Is this normal? This follower needs your opinions, babes. Please drop some below. And don't forget to click the plus sign or follow me for more story times. My entitled sister and stepmom are demanding that I give her my wedding dress because I am fat. Almost two months ago, my younger sister Lucy and her fiancé held a big dinner event with all of our family, his family, our mutual friends, their friends and every soul she knew because they had some big news they wanted to tell everyone. They found out a few weeks prior that they are expecting. Of course we were all very excited for them. As soon as everything settled down, Lucy then stood up and made a toast to me. She said she was thankful for having a bigger in size and in heart sister like me to gift my wedding dress to her since she is getting married in November, I'm only 136 pounds and did not think I was actually fat at the time. I, shocked and embarrassed, tried to ask her what she meant by that as politely as possible. My stepmom responded with don't worry, it's just one of those sister teasings you have never been able to comprehend and for us to all talk about it later. It was all too much for me and I was humiliated by everything and burst into tears in front of everyone, then went to the bathroom while my stepmom said see, and mocked me while telling me to grow up. They both did end up coming into the bathroom after 30 minutes. Lucy said I ruined the most exciting news of a lifetime but could not possibly understand that since me and my fiancé want to continue a child-free lifestyle. I asked her much more rudely why the hell she thought I would be giving her my wedding dress. Apparently her and my stepmom had talked and decided that since my wedding was not until March, and since I am fatter than them, I would not mind just loaning my dress or buying another one since I had saved and invested with my big degrees into my wedding that I can afford special alterations. I double majored in aerospace engineering and theater and my fiancé majored into physics and philosophy. Thanks to my degree and skills, I designed my wedding dress. Both of them have always hated this. She also said that it's okay if it was not altered because I am so much bigger there would not be any alterations needed for her to fit my dress. I told her absolutely not. Lucy then said that if I don't give it to her then I am no longer a bridesmaid. I told her that's fine and left the bathroom. Everyone except my dad, Lucy's fiancé, and my fiancé left. They consoled me and said they would talk to my stepmom and sister about everything and I left. The next day, both my sister and my stepmom blew up my phone saying I am destroying the family and clearly don't care about my soon-to-be niece or nephew by not allowing my sister to have my dress. I never responded and ended up getting a group of family and Lucy's friends on their side harassing me on social media, phone, email and in person for a week. It only stopped because my brother-in-law told Lucy he would be leaving her if she did not cut it out. 
Things have been quiet ever since then until tonight when I got a call from my sister saying she has scheduled a termination tomorrow for her baby girl since she can't fit into her dress. She then said that I could stop all of this if I just honored her simple request of giving her my dress. This is where I am for sure not just wrong but a major beach I don't care if a person gets a termination or not. What you do with your body is up to you, and I don't blame anyone for getting one done. But. It did tick me off and I told her that if she was terminating her baby over a dress then she does not deserve to have any children and her baby girl can be a gift from God to another person who will actually love her and not place fabric over her. She responded since I am child free I don't know what a good parent is, the length of a mother's love, or be able to provide that to kids and could never be better than her. I hung up on her and she sent me a text with a picture of documents showing when, where, and time of the appointment. The text said I had until 11.30 a.m. to change my mind. I called her fiancé and told him everything and sent him screenshots of the text she sent. He said she had no clue about the termination or the gender of their baby and was going straight home to talk to her about it. They did get into a huge fight and now my brother-in-law is staying in our guest room for a while and, very understandingly, looks very red and swollen in the face from crying. 